Between the calyx and government house, you'll find our dragon tree lawn. And I've come to this part of the gardens to have a look at these wonderful blue flowers emerging from mounds of grey foliage. We have a range of different Echium species and varieties in this part of the garden, which features the flora of the Canary Islands. more commonly in blue and sometimes cobalt blue but there are also white species in this garden and even the cousin it of the Echium world, Echium wild pretii. But they're generally known under the common name Pride of Madeira and again that refers to their origins in the Canary Islands where many of the species are now rare but they've become very popular in cultivation and it's not hard to see why at this time of spring. They're a real bee magnet and you can see bees swarming all around the flowers at the moment. So they're foraging to make honey and we have some European beehives here in the gardens and we do sell honey that's harvested from these bees. Echims tend to be fast growing and, and relatively short lived. It's a good idea to prune back the flowers after they finish flowering, but not a great idea to prune back into old wood. So the best bet is to each year after flowering, remove the flowering heads and then you'll get multiple shoots that come through in the summertime. You do need to take some care when selecting Echiums for your garden, because some of them have escaped from the garden. So we're looking at Echium candy cans here. Echiums are related to one of Australia's worst pasture weeds, and that's Patterson's Curse or Echium plantaginium. 